We go to LA tomorrow. Ah! We have not a single thing packed. And I know if you saw a steamboat that you're like, y'all did the same exact thing. But this time we actually have had our luggage. So really it's on us. I feel like the scariest part of it is like our flights at five. And what time is the airport always open? Mm -hmm. I don't believe that. So here's the thing. Somebody will be at our, our um, check-in if there's a flight. Does that make sense? At what time will they be at our check-in? That I'm unsure, but at least we would... Do we get there at 3? We should probably get there at like 3.30. Because we don't want an instance like last time where we weren't able to check our bag. <coughs> That would stink. So we're gonna make sure that we're there with plenty of time. So tonight... And we're gonna be very careful about what we wear. Yeah, and what we pack. I'm gonna miss you, you're my dog. Yeah, so you're, we're... You're all La Familia! We're going for nine days. Okay, now how's my hair look? <laughs> 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 so wait, wait, let's first talk about the hair. Um, we ordered some products to try. I got a, um, some makeup to try and Ali got, are you saying hello? Are you saying hello? Um, but <laughs> Ali got um, stuff for her hair. I got her like three different sprays to try and use in her hair. And so <laughs> this one, no, I actually think I like this one. I just woke up. Can you guys give me a second? <laughs> <laughs> okay, but back to... Oh, but back to uh, LA. So we're going for nine days, and the whole reason we're going right now is because we are going for an event. Yeah, and I will discuss about that. <laughs> okay. We posted a lot on TikTok because Holland had a hyperfixation on pickleball. So we played pickleball for a long time, for a week, well not a long time, babe. Just like weeks straight. And it, I feel like it's all we talked about. So people, specifically a brand, thought we would be the perfect fit for this pickleball tournament. Um, and we are. <laughs> and, we're, and we're literally perfect. But I am a little nervous. Like cause, like I don't wanna, I don't wanna be out of the tournament first. You know, I wanna oh, win the whole thing. Baby, I won't let that happen. So they, but here's a few things. Number one, we found out, or I guess you knew probably cause you shopped there. Um, but it's like, they only sell women's clothes. So we so, had to pick out like what we were going to wear for the event. Oh, go ahead. It's for the active wear. They like want to promote their active wear, which is very cute. When I was like looking through it, I was like, Oh my God, I'd love to see Holland in these. They don't have a men's section or a gender new, like some gender neutral options. So I found, I found what works. We found something that works. We're gonna um, slay. So those are getting sent to LA. But the point of me saying that was that um, when we saw who's invited, it's like all women, um, which I love, we love. We love a safe area. But they invited the duck to the party. <laughs> okay, we're not getting out first. I did, it is tough though, because I think half of my game is talking smack. And like, but like, it's usually to your family who or talks men. about it. Yeah. Or like the 80 year old men who I get to, get to be like, well, this is the last game you'll ever play <laughs> in it, buddy. You know, even if you win, if that's the last thing I can do for you, <laughs> then I'm pretty, you know. I will not talk like that to a woman. No, it's about to be different. And and the, it's not really the tournament I'm the most worried about. It's that there's like 50 people spectating. Maybe I'm good under pressure, I no, think. No, you are. You are. You've always been. But um, along with that, a little update, but like besides LA, I took a gymnastics lesson yesterday. Oh my gosh. And my shoulder popped twice, and I don't know necessarily what it did, but it was definitely popping out and in, out and in, you know? You think you're hot, but you're sorry. You're and it's hot. so sore today, but I think nine days, like, I got like five days to recover. I think you've got the husband disease where I hurt my arm, 
<laughs> I quit for a couple of days. And so now you're such a Pisces. You just want to feel what everybody's feeling. Yeah. <laughs> Everything is so sore. Everything is so sore. No, so cool though. So cool. So fun to watch Holland flipping. But I am also, while in LA, going to be taking dance classes in LA for the first time, which is, um, if you want to know my feelings on it, I'm a little nervous, but I, I think I'm going to kind of go in imagining myself better than I am. And hopefully that energy will come out visually, but I'm super excited. Just very nervous. First time I, and I hear you. <laughs> One thing that I want to interject is that we know social media, you know, and I think that we think because we post every thought on social media <laughs> that other people do the same. And I don't think that's the case. Like a lot of people are putting their best foot forward. <laughs> and so I think that you see these videos and you're like, wow, but it's like the best of the best. Whereas our page is just mediocre. You get what you get. <laughs> don't be greedy. Don't be um. greedy. But I can't help but be excited because my, the, I've only signed up for one class right now because I was going to wait until we kind of see what our day looks like. But the one class I signed up for is a Galen Hooks master class the day we get in. And so tomorrow, um, which is huge. So I don't really care what I look like. Just excited to be there. I should have slept longer. I had no idea. I woke up and it said, your flight takes off soon. It's time to check in. And I said, no, it's not. I know. I got scared too. It was like, it's time to check in. No, Holland's going to kill it. She's hyping herself up. She's going to go in. She's going to be nervous for the first class. And then she's going to spend the rest of her days killing it. And I, I've been telling her this, like, ever since we knew that we were taking this trip to LA. One of the things that I love and admire and look up to Holland about is that she's so good about putting herself in situations to further her career and like she's not even though she says she's nervous i'm like i can't go shaking like i'm i'm not going i'm too nervous to go kind of nervous and she's like excited nervous yeah because i mean like what's the worst that happened i don't pick up the choreography right. in time but and at I least just, like i'm there you know right and i just really admire that about you and i look it's like one of the reasons why i look up to you because i think that Another little update that you might want to know as we have a horrible sleeping schedule right now. So we got melatonin, 10 milli. And we woke up at eight though this morning. I well, feel like I had been waking up so late because we'd been going to bed at like 3 a.m. So I guess I'd still get my seven hours in, you know. But it like it was, it was making me feel funky and I was like, I have got to put a stop to this. Um, but I meant to order gummies and I ordered pills by accident. <laughs> and last night it took me, last it night it just took her life. Oh my I God. choked on water. It fell all down my face. But Helen had the pill in the back of her mouth and she had water in her mouth. And she just kept looking at me like this. <laughs> it took me so long to take it, but maybe that'll teach me how to take pills since I have to take melatonin at night. Not too much, though. So. Hopefully, we only have to take it like two times. And, and then get back on schedule. You know <laughs> maybe Brim can pick it up. <laughs> maybe we can rely on our bodies a little bit. This morning, I actually saw somebody post and they were like, if you eat sugar before bed, it's going to mess up your REM sleep. Okay, here's a few things I'm unwilling to do. Give up a sweet before bed. I think I just need to eat the sweet earlier. You know what I'm saying? I can't God, change it. They want to ruin everything. <laughs> they want to take everything that we have. No, I think we're perfect. Sweet. I don't think we need to change a single thing besides our sleep schedule. Well, if it does help us go to bed before <laughs> 3 a.m., maybe. But I just feel like, gosh, we have Dr. Pepper Zero Sugar that tastes exactly like Dr. Pepper, and we can't get other things. <laughs> that just like fix all of our, can we just start fixing everybody's problems? Is that too much to ask for? <laughs> but today we're gonna, so also Virginia Tech plays today. <laughs> so rock on. <laughs> so also in other news, Virginia Tech plays. <laughs> today. I don't know why my pinky came up with it. Um, they play, so we're going to be watching that later. 
Um, we got, we have to wash some clothes because we need clothes I to need pack. to pack. And when I pack this time, I need to put on the clothes and put on an outfit and take a picture of me. And I need to like it. And then I need to say, that's the outfit I'm packing next day. Take a picture, find an outfit I like, take a picture next day. Because I sit here and I say, throw some jeans in the... Now I'm unhappy. Well, you know what you need. <laughs> I know that I need to pick an outfit out and take a picture. So no, nine times. Lots of packing. Um, I would like to get my nails done if we have time. Yesterday in the car, <laughs> I was feeling extra silly and I because was- Because you had a so- because, tell them why. Why? Because it was a day all about you. It was an all about me day. It was therapy in the morning, it was gymnastics, and then we were in the car and we were dancing. And I got a little crazy <laughs> and I hit the sunshade mirror thing and it knocked half of my nail off, which these aren't new, they were time to go anyway, but now it's like- <laughs> It's like, we need to go I to the next I was dancing song. and all of a sudden you heard the sound and it was like, where did that go? <laughs> yeah, so um, maybe if we have time for that today, I either that or I've got to take these off. No, we have time. Excellent. Uh, we'll make time. Um, what time is it? Do, has the day ran away from us? No, it's like 10. We're good. I'm not even going to wash my hair. I'm just going to try my new spray. I'm going to wet it and then try my new spray. Yeah, I would get it like a little damp, like you just... Excuse me? Damp. Sorry? Jumped in the ocean. <laughs> um, yeah, and I think I'm gonna try some of my new makeup today just because it, how exciting. I do think that, I think that that would make me happy. Yeah? I don't do makeup, you know, I've never done makeup. When I see a woman with like a beat face, I know that a lot of nasty, masculine, there's a lot of masculine nasty things that are put on it, She's like taking time to learn a skill to take care of herself. Yeah. You know? And I like love that. Well, my- It's not me. My makeup's for, sorry, go ahead. No, I was just saying it's not me because I, I don't have the class that those women have, that you guys have. Cause like I'm touching my, I'm like, <laughs> I can't have a conversation with somebody <laughs> without going like this. You know, you always see me going like this during a conversation. And you can't do that with makeup on. And that's why I don't wear it. It's hard. And it breaks my face out, but that's why I'm hoping some different products I can like see, you know, how it's feeling. Find your um, thing. It's like finding your face wash or your face lotion. Oh my it's gosh. It's like a very important self-care journey. I'm, I'm for this. Thank you. My makeup's also from like 2016. So like makeup has evolved <laughs> from then. So it's like time to evolve. That's even scarier that you say that when you realize that 2016 is not five years ago anymore. <laughs> it's almost 10. Some of it's newer, but it's like... Like maybe not powder blush. Let's do like the little, the little tints. I don't know. We're gonna try new things. Um, I also think I'm gonna go to the gym real quick. Uh, yeah, you do that because I need to answer some emails and make sure everything's settled for work yes. before we go. Oh, okay. Let's get it. Okay. <laughs> Thanks for being there for that. <laughs> Me, post-workout. I came in though from my workout and Ellie was already packing. Oh, I, to be fair, I can see how that might make somebody a little nervous. Um, it's what I do to Allie in the morning. <laughs> I come in and I tell her about the year I've lived before she woke up. And, and this was my payback. Yeah. <laughs> and so now I'm coming in and I feel like I haven't started the day yet, but. Which got packed. Didn't you just get do a workout well some pretty cool outfits um i like what i'm seeing do you yeah i'm not gonna pack anything super fancy no like, i'm not gonna pack a suit i mean we packed that last time and then i got sick so plan less and then maybe more would happen and you know then we'll be unprepared <laughs> yeah, so you're yeah. Saying it's better to be well, underprepared than because we were so prepared for snowboarding they took our bag away from us. Oh, I thought you were talking about last time we went to LA. I am. And then the last time we went to LA, overprepared, I got deathly ill. I'm exaggerating. Were we overprepared or were we just prepared? See, that's my... So really, I don't know that what she said was helpful for me. <laughs> Did you have a good workout? Let me see the guns. 
Oh, all I did was run. Let me see. I have an obsession with cardio, and I think that's the answer to everything. But I'm going to take a shower, and I'm going to try to use some of my new makeup. Pretty girl. What time's the game? Six. Oh. What um, do we have to do today? Pack, and I would like to get my nails done, but that's it. Okay. I think while you get your nails done, I might go get my mama some flowers. Aw, that's sweet. <laughs> that's sweet. Okay, this is the fit for today. We have sweatpants, socks, and a hoodie. It doesn't really change ever. It's really always that, so don't be surprised. I know I look good. But I'm about to try my new makeup products. I'm so pumped. I got tons of stuff. Um, so either I'm gonna look really good or not know how to use it and look kinda good, you know? Okay, I tried to take a TikTok um, of me trying the new makeup. It was recording and then all of a sudden I looked over and it wasn't and I had nothing. And I was already halfway through. So I was like, you know what, we'll try it again another day. But I think what is gonna go next time that I'm not gonna do is the lip tint on my lips. I think if I maybe had some like falsies on on my face, it would look more like me, but the lips are a lot. The lips are a lot for me. But everything else is fun and funky and fresh. I really liked the CC cream that I used. Um, seemed like really nice coverage. But anyway, I still haven't packed. I, I haven't even had a breakfast yet. I feel behind but all is well. when we should have already went to sleep. Elizabeth Kelly had 33 points. ago when my pants fell down at the same airport <laughs> because we were like now we're so damn early painting me in isn't that funny that is so silly Casa de Rachel with special chef 
Iron Chef. Bronze. Silver? Bronze. What show? Gold Chef. Which one's better? Gold Star Chef. Gold <laughs> Gold Chef. Yeah, just... Actually, I don't want to give you this one because it's... Oh, it's a good morning. morning. We woke up to LA. Do you want, maybe want to talk about the fact that you went to your first ever Millennium Dance class? Okay, I'm walking into my first class. Here we go. I'm nervous. I did go to my first. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I did go to my first dance class last night, and I had the best time ever. And it was a lot less nerve wracking than I thought it would be. I w I walked in. And Holland was shaking like a little Chihuahua puppy that had just no, came out of seriously, womb. my legs wouldn't stop. And, she's, and she kept like flicking her water bottle on and off. I get it because it looked like a bunch of talented people and they had different hair colors. And they were wearing cool outfits. But you also looked cool and you looked strong. I had a lot of fun. <laughs> days um and in most recent news holland's in trouble i lost my phone in la but don't worry we got it N not in our hands in a good friend's hands why don't i explain the story if you're not ready to tell the truth okay <laughs> we went to uh meredith and austin's dance class cost and mayor you guys might know them they're awesome people super funky and so we went to that class and then Holland was uh, late for her next class at like Millennium. So she was like, I'm just going to skip it. So, but I'm going to go wait there. So she was waiting there and then whatever. She went to come meet us. We were having non-alcoholic beers and burgers. And then we went to the car. But then we decided, let's go shoot pool with Joy. So we decided we had to get out of the car. We had to get into Joy's car to drive to Rachel's car. Right. Then we went to play pool. Well, I'm going to ruin the story for you a little bit. During that change of cars, Holland dropped her phone in the street. Now, keep in mind, California's freaking out. Guys, there's 0.5 of an inch of rain here, and they're losing their mind. So it's been raining all day. And then we get there, and we play some pool for like an hour. Then we get back into Rach's car, and we go home. Which is like uh, an, an hour, hour drive. Her phone's been missing this entire time. Then, when we get home and we're hanging out, Holland goes, I can't find my phone. <laughs> and I look at her location in the middle of the street where Rach parked her truck when Holland went to into Millennium. So, then it's about, what is it at this point, midnight? And we call Joy, and Joy's sleeping. And we ask her to go out in the rain, drive 15 minutes, and then go out in the rain and look for the phone. Anyway, she found it in a puddle. So now Holland doesn't have a phone. But we're retrieving it later today. Um, yesterday was a uh, learning, learning day for me. Um, with that being said, I, from here on out, will be a better person. <laughs> <laughs> Um, but besides that, we have been having a be last. We got here. What? You have changed. <laughs> what do you mean? I don't know. I guess you just seem a lot more mature, especially if you're saying things like be last. <laughs> <sighs> Took some dance classes. We hung out a day, watched the Grammys. Um, oh my gosh. Yeah. I saw um, Tracy Chapman. Age like fine wine. You look good, queen. Taylor announced a new album. Yeah. Boy Genius. Doing their thing as always. Yeah, so we, I mean, we've just been having a grand old time. Today, I am taking a Jojo Gomez class. 
if I come out on the other end, I will live to tell my story. But if I do <laughs> not, RIP. That's the place where I want to die. Yeah, and then we have to film a commercial for Valent or an ad for Valentine's Day. Yeah. And then tomorrow, is tomorrow the pickleball tournament? No, we still have another day. The next day is the pickleball <laughs> tournament. I think tomorrow, we um, no plans set in stone yet. So there, the options are endless. But we might just chill, might enjoy our day. But it's been a while since we caught up. But super pumped to be here. I also made this necklace. Hold on. I made this necklace, and it's got California and a palm tree. And I know you're probably like, you can tell you're not from California because you got California on a necklace. But it's really just a remind. It's for me, okay? So I'm not even going to explain myself. Um, and I like it. Thank you. Yep. Okay. Well, catch up later. Mustard relish. Good morning. It's game day. Good morning. It's game day. It's game day. It's Let's game go. Day. Yay. Today is the reason we came here. Today's what we came here for. It's pickleball day. My mom texted me this morning, even getting in my head. I was like, are they ready for you? And I was like, you don't need to hype me up anymore. Like, I got it on my own. I got it from here. I'll take it I got it from here. You're going to get me too amped up. You know, mom, but she was talking, mom was talking her stuff. She's proud of her daughters. Yeah. Yeah. We, so the plan today is we're going to head, um, we need to head to an anthropology because Allie needs some final, uh, wardrobe touches. Yep. And, um, from there we're heading straight to the pickleball tournament. Also, I will say that the. The girly pops over at Anthropology have been extremely sweet and helpful. Extremely helpful. Um, the reason we're having to do that is because part of the package didn't come because um, we're like promoting the athletic wear. And so a piece of the athletic wear didn't come. So. But I can't wait to see, I can't wait for them to see what you're wearing because you look like a cutie patootie. Yeah, I picked it out all, all online and like was trying to like imagine it in my head and I think it, I think it turned out cute. Um. I still can't straighten my arm, guys, but we're going to power through that. Yeah, I really I can't straighten. It won't straighten. So, um, but I don't after, need it. <laughs> you don't need that arm. It's anyway. honestly more fair if I don't have it. Yeah, actually, I think it's an even playing field. Right. After, we're going to grab some dinner and then we're going to head down to the Abbey and, and have fun. And into maybe, some trouble. maybe. Dance on the dance floor. Oh, I'm going to dance. And party. Now, no expectations on me, but I'm going to do my best. Anyway, I felt like the last time we talked, I don't know where it was, but I, I took a class. I'm going to be honest here, okay? I took this class, and I knew this is probably, I, this is a personal opinion, but I think it's one of the hardest classes I could have taken. Did I embarrass myself? Yes. Did I go? Yes. So I am proud, but embarrassed. <laughs> um, You're still embarrassed? Sometimes when I have flashbacks of what <laughs> you, happened. You gave yourself the ick. Yeah. No, no, no. I was like, if I would have saw me. No, I don't believe that. Um, It just was like, it was, I was... I've been so full of anxiety every single day just because I, I want to do really good. Um, but it was really nice to have like two really good classes and um, have a little bit of confidence and then to finish on a class that maybe would put some fire under me. I think it's, a, I think it's uh, some people would say a bad way to finish, but I think it was a great way to finish because that just means more work needs to be done and that's okay. Um, if, you if I would have talked to you guys maybe two days ago, I think I would have cried. <laughs> One thing that's tough about me is I won't be embarrassed in front of any anyone. We're all going to have to go in a room. And we're going to have to stay there. Forever. <laughs> I'm going to take you all. And we're going to go hide for the rest of the time. But I honestly think that you're being a little bit hard on yourself. Um, but it, I, 
And maybe, maybe I will leave that. But I do know I can picture what was happening in my head. Um, it just wasn't clicking that day, but it was really cool to be in a room full of people who knew what they were doing <laughs> and are very talented. So that's um, inspiring to say the least. I think it's really what you take away from it, okay? I just had to sit with the embarrassment for like two days before I could giggle about it, okay? So it's okay to be embarrassed, it's okay. I'm okay, I'm gonna talk about this at therapy though. <laughs> Um, but yeah, having a, having a grand old time here in the LA. Rachel and Abs have been shit hosts. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, they've been nothing. Just literally driving us everywhere. <laughs> everywhere we need to go. Just mom and dad. Yeah. Mom and dad. Guys, dreams do come true. We are going to Sir Lounge from Vanderpump. I told Holland that she would love Vanderpump. I watched it when I was like a little bit younger, um, but then with everything going on, we started watching it again for the plot. And so now Holland has hyper fixated as she sometimes does. I get like, well, and I will say that it happens a lot of times with like, like, like famous things or celebrities. Like, I'm just like, I, I have to. And it's just perfect timing that as we're watching Vanderpump, we happen to be in LA and I was like, we have to go to Sir. Um, so we're doing that and I'm just, I'm like super pumped. I'm so excited for you and for us. Yeah, I, um, we gotta get the win though. We can't go, we can't, this just has to empower us more to get the win because yes. we can't go. We have to go and celebrate. Right. We can't go and defeat. I mean, we still will, but just saying. Anyway, just had to update because this is what dreams are made of. Okay, everybody, I'm getting ready. I'm gonna do my makeup. Here's my before. Yeah, and then. I'm gonna do something crazy and I'm gonna show you show you after. So Alright everybody. This is the after look. I surprised you, didn't I? You had no idea I was gonna do a before and after. Here's a little I feel like it looks better on this camera than it does in person. But thank you.
Yeah, losers. We're losers. Um, and we've been back for two days. There's, there's a time change. There's a lot. Yeah, yeah. But look who's here. Why we? She loves her mom. She loves her moms. Anyway, thanks for being along. Coming. Hey. Thanks for coming. Thanks for. Okay. <laughs> thanks for coming along with us to LA. Yeah. And witnessing <laughs> the first of many of Holland's uh, wild Californian <laughs> adventures. She's gonna fall. Oh my god, oh. I got her. <laughs> oh. Riley, come on, save yourself. If you're struggling, I hope whatever weight you're carrying gets a little bit easier to carry. I'm glad you're here. Ditto. I hope I see you again tomorrow. Bye. Bye. <laughs>